Hi, I'm Elaine Mathis, Executive Director at Aldersgate Special Needs Ministry. Thanks for joining today as we spend some time in God's Word. Let's take a look at Isaiah 32, verses 17 and 18. Again, that's Isaiah 32, 17 and 18. Here we learn, The fruit of righteousness will be peace. The effect of righteousness will be quietness and confidence forever. My people will live in peaceful dwelling places, in secure homes, in undisturbed places of rest. This comforting passage reminds us of God's love for His people. He is our protector. He provides children, His children safety and shelter to rest from life's storms. This passage also reminds us that God is our eternal shelter. And while we're here on this earth, we have unlimited access to Him. When we seek God in our daily lives, we're able to find peace in Him, like a calm river flowing through us, regardless of our external circumstances. And what an extraordinary gift this is. With all that we've been given out of love from our Savior, let's seek out ways to show our gratitude by caring for our neighbors, not out of obligation, yet as our thank you note to God. Let's intentionally look for ways to help one another. Everyone needs prayer. And a simple word of kindness or encouragement can make such a huge difference in a negative society. I know that I've spent a lot of time thinking these past few months about how grateful and blessed that I am to have a safe home, a place to rest with my family and to uh, weather the storm. And I've also thought about how wonderful it is to serve at Aldersgate Special Needs Ministry, where we operate Christian homes for adults with developmental disabilities. Of course, the pandemic has been very hard and stressful on all of us, and our residents are no different. Those entrusted to our care are used to being active in the community, and right now they're not able to work, volunteer, and they're not able to participate in their normal daily routines. Visitation with their family and friends has also been very limited, especially at our two homes that are licensed as assisted living facilities. Our staff has done a beautiful job to help develop creative alternatives, yet it continues to be a very hard adjustment for our residents. So I ask for your prayers for the ministry during this especially challenging time. Another way you can help is by financially supporting the ministry if you are able to. August 9th is designated as Aldersgate Special Needs Sunday by the South Carolina Conference. Now the ministry doesn't receive apportionments and we depend on contributions from churches, groups, and individuals. And we thank those who have faithfully contributed to our organization over the years. Your support helps make it possible for us to continue to care for our residents, as well as plan for the future. We have an online giving option through our website at aldersgatespecialneedsministry.org, which may be a convenient option for you. And if you're interested in other ways to get involved with the ministry, please contact us. God has blessed this ministry, and we are very grateful. I've enjoyed our time together today. In closing, I'd ask for you to please pray with me. Gracious God, please help each of us to look to you for wisdom and strength. Watch over our families and homes. Help us to find peace and shelter by clinging to you. Please make our lives about your glory and for the good of others. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.